Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. In the last episode, we finished off the D barrel, completing the Apple Kingdom, and unlocking the K barrel, unlocking all four of these new kingdoms. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Strawberry Kingdom and seeing exactly what lies in it. For you guys, anyways, I already know what's in it, and I don't really like it a whole lot, but oh well. So, let's jump in and see exactly what it is that I don't really like about it. And I have two words for you. Helibird Nest. Now you may be thinking exactly why it's such a bad level. Well, mainly because, as the name implies, there is a new type of... Not enemy, but buddy, as it is, because like we already had Floral the Squirrel and our like Rhino Bull thing that we ride on. I think his name was like I can't remember. I'm not even gonna bother trying. But the Heli Bird. I don't think we've actually seen a Heli Bird yet. Now these guys, the reason why I don't like them is mainly because how they control. They aren't really good to control. They end up being really annoying and tedious, especially later on when you can't find your way around. I mean, you could always switch, and these guys do respawn over time. Now with this guy, what you want to do is you simply want to just run into his path because he will poop out bananas. I don't know how that's possible, but oh well. I mean, overall, this place looks really nice. I I mean, I like the level, I just don't like helibirds in general. They aren't really fun to control. But let's see if we can get as many beats as we can before that thing decides to die on us, and it's going to die on us, isn't it? Yep. Okay, well, having 255 beats isn't that bad. We could have gotten more, but oh well. Let's see if we can climb up here and not die. Okay, we can die, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Or, it does, because we're going to miss out on getting 100 feet. Uh, I do not want to lose my combo at all. Please do not let that happen to me. And this is pretty much why I don't like it. It takes a long time for them to end up, like, gliding down. And to make them fly up, you need to hit the control stick left and right. So, it does get tedious, but nonetheless, it's not horrendous not horrendous at all. Horrendous? What did I just say? Right there I have an introduction to a new enemy. These are actually, I, don't, I think we've seen these before. Or not, actually. We haven't. These are new enemies. They're basically really big bees. And as with always, I'm forgetting the official names. Oh, yay. I am so good at this because I am smart. Now, we could end the level here. However, we want to go back down. And Don Okay, are you trying to push the leaves, Donkey Kong? Let me see that. He's trying to push the leaves. Okay, it's kind of funny, actually. And he can't even move them. And it's ironic, because he's supposed to be like this really big, strong monkey, yet he can't even manage to move simple leaves around. Even though he can clearly swipe them off their, his feet by just sliding alongside the leaves. Okay, well, enough about looking at Nintendo Logic and just laughing at its face, like, ha ah ha! We're gonna go up here, because, as you saw in those couple frames, something actually opened up here. And you want to go in here, because you can get yourself some extra stuff, which can help you out in the long run. So in here, just simply get all of those beats. Those were only seven. I don't know really why it was seven. And coming in here, the multiplier is very important, but I think I can manage without it. So we can just go ahead and not get... Ugh. You know what, fine, where we don't really need a helibird because there's one right here. So let's grab this helibird because this game obviously knows that we are going to fail. Because this place, I'm pretty sure Nintendo already knows about how bad it is to control the Helibird. And I don't really know if they did it on purpose, or if it's just simply the way that they wanted it to. Because I have no idea how they can simulate a bird flapping its wings by tilting control stick left and right. Ugh. Okay, well, after going full circle around this place, we can just glide down, just nice and casually. Or hit the red leaves, because this game is... Well, I'm not going to say anything bad about it, because it's a really fun game. So let's go ahead and get our ceremony. If we can get 35, I'm going to try my best to get 35 every time. And 36, hey! Okay, better than I expected. So now my new goal is 37, even though it's kind of impossible. But let's move on to the next level, because I just want to get done with that. But the Spirit Tree. This place is pretty much one of my more favorite levels in the game. It's nice, it's relaxing, and plus there's these. And it forms a nice little star. It's kind of fun and kind of cool, actually. I almost said cute, but then again, a star really isn't cute. It's just kind of awe-inspiring, in a way. I don't really know how. It's like promoting peace, way, because it is a spirit tree, and it's like, dude, get with the funky flow. <laughs> All right, well, after doing that combo, we have these guys, so let's see if I can actually do this. Yep, there we go, 33 beats. 
And this guy. These are runner hog things. They're really easy to get. And in later levels, there will be multiple ones that we will need to hit. But we'll find that out later. So we could be swinging on these ropes or these vines, and we will. However, we want to get rid of these guys first because, well, you know, the more the merrier. And yeah, those are all. I was kind of just curious to see if there was another one because that generally that happens a lot to me actually. And if they're all in, then we can hit them. And if we can't, oh, okay, this is not good. Ah, let's just grab them like that. 27. That's all right. And can I get our three combo? We didn't. Okay, that's kind of weird. Why? We, how come we didn't latch onto it? Wait, let me try that again. Alright, there we go. Now we latched onto it. So let's see if we can get ourselves our 4 combo by going on this. And 5 and 6. Or, oh man, I missed a combo. One second. Okay, there we go. Now the 6 combo. I could have made it 7, but oh well. Now we can get ourselves a 7 with these little vine things here. And let's latch onto this. Ooh, I almost did not make that. Maybe I was very far from not making it, but oh well. Okay, now let's just head up this, and let's hit that, and grab these beats, and oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. I almost got myself out of this major combing. Look at all these little things surrounding us. It's just so nice and satisfying to see that. And with eight, it only gets better from there, even though it's a freaking Halibird. Alright, I'm, I'm done bashing the Halibird. Overall, it's not that bad. I mean, I have my complaints, but... I mean, I'm not going to get around to just bashing it like crazy. I mean, hey, the developers did what they could. So let's just jump, or jump, glide over here, and we can get all of these, because we need to have enough, because, yeah, we already have enough. 438 to end off the level. I think we're good. So let's just jump down here. I was going to grab it, but I think there's a secret back here. Or we can't even get there. Okay, then I'm just being dumb again. Uh, anything here? Nope. Alright, then let's go ahead and latch on to the strawberry, and bite it, and begin our reign of eating and getting 35, okay. But now the tables have been turned. We start off fighting a hog. Now, here's something else I want to explain. In this game, you have four different types of end bosses, and all of them end up being the same variants, with some minor or major changes. That does not make it a bad game, however. It may look like it's reusing them, but it's simply just a way to add a style to the game. Plus, these guys are very fun to beat. So, let's go ahead and see exactly what kind of hog this is. We've had the rogue hog, and now we have the mohawk. Get it? Mohawk, mohawk. They have mohawks, and he's old. Because it's white. Okay, enough talking about that. Let's go ahead and see exactly what these special types of hogs have to bring to us. Alright, now the prime difference in this battle is that not only are there multiple areas and I got hit because I am stupid, but in addition to having ourselves these standardized platforms, there's a third platform that only he can go on, actually, or can I go on it too? Nope, we cannot go in it at all, and I just miss myself getting him, and why do I keep getting hit? I'm just screwing up here like crazy, because I'm just trying to pay attention, ooh, this is not good. Oh, why do I keep, ugh, I'm so stupid. Alright, you know what, just, let's hit, let's avoid that, you can throw your little sparky thing at me, and I will hit you, or not, oh god, don't hit me. Alright, throw your durians, and I am just failing and making this longer than it really should be. And he's not doing the main difference yet. I mean, in terms of like the layout of the battlefield, it's different. But there is a major aspect that he does. So as you can see, he's very electrified right now. So what exactly can he do next? Well, he's going to go in the air and charge you like that and try and land a hit on you. Those are the major differences in this battle in particular. There's not a whole lot that I can talk about. And oh god! Oh, that could have been so close if I actually managed to hit to the left. Alright, well, if we can... Actually, oh, I was kind of expecting to get, like, two for one. But that's alright. Let's just go ahead and smash his face in even more. Okay. So I think that's good for now. If he goes back... So here's the thing. He's going to end up doing that, which is a very fast-charged um, coconut throw. 
and you really just have to be more fast. But then again, I mean, it's really easy to just plot when it's going to come to you, especially when it's charged like that, so you just got to prepare yourself a little bit more. I mean, these are very easy to avoid, and I missed that coconut crap. Alright, now he's going to go up and do his little charge thing. Okay, let's stay over here, because he's not going to come over this way. Hey, I predicted AI! I'm getting somewhere in life! Let's hit him up. Can I hit him up? Yes, we can! We just sniped him out of the sky and brought him down with a coconut. So let's just hit him, and one more time should do it. So, just go ahead and throw more coconuts at me. Please do. Thank you. Make it a fast-paced one, because we want to end this being really cool. Punch him down, jump on him, and smash his nose in! Minus 80 beats, wow. I'm surprised he'll manage to get my platinum rank. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah. Really fun boss battle in my opinion. And I love the music they provide for us there. It's just so nice and up it's really nice and upbeat. But speaking of stuff that's going up, our rank has just been raised up since we've clearly managed to get over twelve hundred beats. And with getting our platinum crest. This is our first 100% in a new kingdom, or a new barrel for that matter. And there we go! Okay, fill up your column counter and increase your- <gasps> Really? You can increase your counter by doing combos? <gasps> in my two weeks of playing this game, and in my seven years of playing this game, I never ever thought that would be a thing. I think it's easier to get Platinum Rank now. Okay, enough joking. I mean, this is just stuff they're repeating because, well, we just finished the kingdom and they think that it's pretty much the same as before. But with that, we've become king of the Strawberry Kingdom. I probably should have announced that earlier, but you guys get the gist of it now. So, I think we're going to call it an episode here. So next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, we're going to be taking on my favorite level in the game, the Pineapple Kingdom. Why? Couple reasons. One, I like pineapples. They're really nice and sweet. Two, it's pretty much based around water. I like water. And three, question mark, question mark, question mark. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.